Hello, hey, it's Sophia Ren, helping people who want to write, create, make faster progress on their projects to stop compromising on what they want and get things done so they can connect to more people who really get them, the real them, not the compromised version of them. And I've been talking lately about how being in Japan has helped me to experience more space in my life, more rest in my life, and how a lot of my clients by the time they come to me, are super, super overwhelmed and depleted and tired. And I find that a lot of people who like to get things done, who want to get things done, who feel like they're not getting enough things done, oftentimes it's just are not really getting a chance to relax or rest or rejuvenate and get the clarity that they need to know what to do next. <clears throat> because it's really easy to get lost in just being busy but are you putting energy into the things that really matter the most for the things that are really important to you? Um, if you're not getting enough rest, probably not. Um, I didn't realize this was happening with me in my business many years ago when I started it, like eight years ago. Um, I was trying to juggle being a writer and being an entrepreneur, and I was still trying to find my thing. I was doing a lot of life coaching and healing work. At the time, I've always been like a spiritual mentor type person and called to that work. Um, but I was trying to like use the internet and put my name out there. And I was probably just spending a lot of time just like on the internet, like posting things or trying to do things that not many people really like didn't really result in a lot of like anything happening in my business. It, you know, it was kind of like I put it out there and then like disappeared. And um, I was just running all the time. I was just busy all the time. I was just working all the time. And like, on what? At the end of the day, what did I do? What did I do? And I just was doing what I thought other people were doing. And I was just copying them and then taking courses and just doing what the courses said. I didn't really have a sense of direction and clarity on what to do next coming from my own sense of clarity. I was just mimicking other people and just doing what other people told me to do. And it wasn't very systematic. It wasn't very tailored to me or who I am or the vision I had. It was just sort of like throwing spaghetti at the wall. And that can be cool, but I think that there's another way to do things. So one day I sat down and I tried something different. And I'm going to share with you about this tool, which is writing letters. It changed everything for me in my business. And I also use it when I'm writing my book or if I'm doing anything big in my business. And it's also changed the way that I coach other people who are working on a book or a business. Because literally, I believe that whatever you're working on, think of it in terms of it is an entity, like a baby. It has like a consciousness. It has a desire to be here or not. It has a desire to be. And you've been gifted with this responsibility, this task of birthing this thing into the world. But it's not totally like on you to create it. It actually has its own resonance. It has its own field. It has its own something that you can communicate with, tune into, get information about, and use that information to shape what you're doing to fit the thing that you're birthing. And it can be kind of like a two-way communication process. It can be a collaboration. So let's say if you're working on a book or a goal or a business, try writing a letter to that thing and asking, hey, what do I do? And I would just say, like, give yourself a chance to really sink in, close the door, turn off from the world. Like if you're just doing this for the first time, just settle in and just think about that thing you really want to create, that you really want to birth, that you feel called that you need to do, or you, you need to because you need to make money. And you're like, this thing needs to create money now. <laughs> this business needs to be going or God, this writing really needs to be out there. Like I'm tired of having it not done. And like, I've been telling everyone I have a book that I, everyone keeps talking to me. I need to get it out. And what do I do? Write a letter to this thing, this book or this business. I'm just going to put it that simply, although you might be working on something else. And just say, you know, dear book, dear business, this is all the crap that is in my head right now. This is all my worries, all my concerns, all my questions, all my dilemmas. This is me. This is how I think and feel about you right now, about the work I'm doing on you right now. Um, if you have any regrets, any feelings of not being enough or not doing enough or not making enough or not performing enough, spill it out, be with it, let it go. Give it over to your book, your business, your creation to hold for you, hold space for you 
like a good friend would and just tell them what's up. And then when you have emptied out or maybe even as you're emptying out, you might start to get some inspirations and just write everything that you get down, all of your inspirations and just write down anything that comes to you and it could be some action steps, they could be some ideas, it could be some thoughts about reaching out to somebody or taking it a step or maybe you're piecing together some things you were wondering about or maybe you are starting to think my favorite question which is what the hell do I do now? What is my very next step? I love to always come back to this, tuning in to the spirit of what I'm creating and asking myself, what is next now? Because there's two ways in life for me. You either know the entire picture of what you're doing, or you don't fucking know, and you're just focused on where are your feet going to go next. And I think it's great to have um, maybe a combo, but when in doubt, I, I personally, I'm all about, I wanna put my feet somewhere that's gonna give me a sense of satisfaction, a sense of forward momentum. I don't wanna waste time waiting for the download of the giant clarity to come. I wanna do something now. And sometimes in that process, you end up just discovering what you're doing. So I feel like when in doubt, ask, what the hell do I do right now? And I was surprised when I talked to my book and my business for the first time, what I got was, Go take a walk, girl. Get the fuck away from the computer. <laughs> get away, get away, get away, get away from the internet and go take a walk and be in nature and just be in your body and just like have some time to process and be and observe and be quiet and still and like shut off the noise and be with that, whatever it is. And then I would be done my walk and my in the course of that walk, I might have that inspiration of the next step to do or the next insight, or like, wow, I'm really just like burning the candle down way too low and like I'm not even accomplishing that much. Like I need to kind of step back and look at where am I spending my time? What am I doing with it? Is it on something that is really strategic and like gonna hit the hammer, hit the nail on the head? It's gonna like, it's not gonna miss the mark and go, it's going to actually land and do something important. That's the kind of action that we want. And that's what everybody is lacking these days because everybody is just like swimming around like chickens with their heads cut off, like not grounded, not able to connect to the real juice, the real important thing. And honestly, if you only do one important thing every day, that would be great, a great lifetime. It's wonderful to be able to knock out a bunch of things in one day. I mean, I love doing that. I feel like I'm at a place where I pretty much to have that most days but I need rest too and I only got to this level of clarity about the things I need to do because I have rest because I have relaxation and if it's something that you struggle with go ahead and ask your book or business for permission to take a break or to get space and say why and and see like are you sure you know book are you you, you but you might get that insight that I got that hey, my book and my business actually would advise me like a boss to go take a break. And if they're a very good boss and they know that I'm gonna do much better work when I've rested. So there's so much more I can talk about on this topic, so please ask me your questions, share your insights. I would love to keep talking about the spirit of your book or business and what it wants to tell you and working with it because not enough people out there are talking about it. It's a thing. It's amazing. It makes your life so much easier to not have to create all the answers yourself. Like you're part of a team. This thing wants to be born. It might as well help you do it. That's how I feel. It's like, hey, you asked to be created, so you better help me. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. I do offer individual coaching. If you want to experience this process, especially getting check-ins every two days about what is that next thing that you need to do and being able to talk to somebody who's really tuned into it and who helps other people tune into it, your book, your business, whatever you're working on, it has an energy that you can tap into and make faster progress in a way that feels good, that has a sense of balance, sense of space. It's not high pressure, high octane, burning you down. You're not required to compromise who you are in order to fit some box or some system. This is about like tailoring systems to you and the things you're creating. So it's a fit, 
And when you do that, you're going to be making faster progress and you're also going to connect to the people and opportunities that are going to be the best fit for you. The people who are going to get you, places where you belong, things that are going to be an up level in a big way, in a needed way, in the perfect way. I see it. So if you're interested in something like that, having check-ins through five weeks, that is the five week jump start. Plus you get a deep dive of 60 to 90 minutes where we can look at the big picture and look at the big concerns and look at the things that are really holding you back. So that way you can make the most progress. And again, it's about creating like a, like a systematic way of doing things, changing habits, changing the way that you're doing things overall so that in that five weeks you create a system to support you in making faster progress and tuning into what you need to do next on a regular basis and you're going to be stronger at it and more able to do this without me there after five weeks and you're going to get so much done that really matters to help you make those connections to the people and things that really fit you so can't wait to help you do that. If that feels like a calling for you, go ahead and DM me or send me a contact on my website, sophiaren.com. And I just want to let you know if you do sign up to start to start the five weeks by February 15th, then you also get three up to three hours of editorial uh, revisions where I will read over anything that you send me, anything from your website, your book your posts, emails, the things that you're creating and putting out. You can send those things to me and I will spend up to three hours the whole five weeks um, reading things as you go so you can get feedback the week that you're working on it and um, get some more insight to tune those words to connect to the people that you really want to connect to. So I'm so excited for you. Thank you for watching this video. Please again, leave me some comments. Go ahead and follow me or like this. Hit me up in all the ways, and I can't wait to hear from you if you want to do the five-week jump start to get some faster progress going on your book or business. All right, you guys. Love you so much. Thanks for watching.